All right, so here we go. I literally went into Lowe's to get a pair of scissors or gardening scissors and I walked out with a bunch of stuff. And uh, yeah, and so I am going to do some pruning, get the uh, gardening to garden together because it's almost spring. So let me show you what I got. Look at that. And then here's Issa. And then of course these. So I think I'm going to put those in the hanging baskets there and there, but uh, stay tuned. So these are actually our hydrangeas. Anyone who knows me knows I love hydrangeas, but they are just very difficult for me to maintain. And um, I don't wanna get rid of them though because they're just so beautiful. But as you can see, in comparison to other parts of the house, this side still needs a lot of work. So I'm just going in, I'm just doing some pruning, getting rid of the old stems. Uh, from last spring. I probably should have done this earlier, but we're not going to talk about that right now. Um, but I'm just going in and just getting rid of what's there so we can just have a fresh start. Um, I got a lot of space over here and a lot of room for some more plants. I always get kind of confused on what to do over here. Obviously, I'm not a landscaper, but I think I am getting clearer on how I would like this side to look. The, um, our house is a colonial, it's a 1995 colonial and it's black and white. And so I could really use a lot of color to balance out um, the neutral color tones of the house. And I really want this portion to not be as sparse. We normally have um, it filled in with, what is it called, like ground cover. But I have to look at some, some different plants and variations of color so we can do like a more layered effect so it can really be full and just rich. And so obviously I haven't had the chance to do it just yet. I'm gonna go to my favorite place, uh, the green. So if you want me to show you what I get, just let me know and I'll do another video. Outside playing, I mean, it's just, it's just golden to me. It is time for me to get back to work. You pretty much get the picture over here. I'm just going to clean this up and it'll be to be continued. Okay, so now whew, I'm going to bag up the sticks that are here. I almost got this area cleaned out, but let me show you some of the stuff that we did last year. So we planted most of these. These boxwoods. I think they're doing pretty well. Hey, 
I should trim these earlier. I don't know, but I may get rid of those hollies over here eventually. We shall see. Kind of look a little sparse on the side. She's not really doing anything to me, for me. I do all the rest of these. But for now, I'll leave them alone. I'll just get this area cleaned up and we'll go from there. By now, I am really, really tired. But I bought these plants from Lowe's and whew, I'm gonna be yawning right now. I um, want to definitely get them in the hanging baskets so I can see how they look and just felt like I really knocked out a lot of things on my to-do list today on this wonderful Saturday. So I'm going to get to it. So previously I did the hanging baskets the lazy way. You see that um, foam that I had in there? I literally just sat a basket in there straight from Lowe's in there and just propped up on top of the foam. But um, I'm going to do a little bit more styling this time and actually take them out of the plastic pots and put them inside of the, the baskets myself. I don't know the name of these plants. I did not look at the cards, but they were just really beautiful. And I just picked colors that really spoke to me. Anyone that really knows me knows that I don't really like bright colors. Um, but when it comes to plants, I, I do like color, uh, but I try to go for um, color palettes that are more muted. And so I really like this purple. And I just mix it with just other more neutral muted palettes, color palettes that I just really like. I just normally when I go in there, I put um, I start with like the base. And so this plant right here that I'm putting in the center is it's really like the focal point and I'll put it in my basket and I'll literally bunch up other plants around it to see how I would like it to look. Uh, I'm looking for different textures, different variations of color, different shapes. And honestly, I mean, I just, I pick what makes me feel good because I'm going to see it every day. My family is going to see it every day. And I just want something that I'm going to enjoy. And so that's literally all I'm doing. I don't put a lot of thought into it. Um, I just do what makes me feel good and what speaks to me. I do know that I do spend a lot of time looking for inspiration. And so when I started styling this basket, I wanted to have some hanging vines that went down. And you can probably see at the bottom that I found some hanging vines, but I think I'm gonna go back and just add a little bit more. One of the tricks that I found is I was kind of struggling taking this out of the plastic uh, container originally. And I don't know why, I was like, why am I trying to slide it out when I can literally just use the scissors and just cut the plastic off and just get that baby out. And so I'm just squeezing it in here. Oh, oh, oh before I forget, another thing is I probably should have bought a bag of soil because I mean, it's gonna grow significantly because spring is not even here yet. But if I had some soil down there at the bottom, then I could have propped the plants up a little bit more. So just always keep a bag of soil in your garage or don't be afraid to just get some more. I mean, it's like if you own a home, it's definitely something that you can use over and over again and it's not like it's gonna go bad. So uh, I didn't grab any fertilizer either. So I'm pretty sure I'll be making another trip back to Lowe's probably tomorrow or sometime soon just to add a little bit more to it. But I like the way this coming along. This plant here that I'm getting ready to add almost has like a um, like a velvet texture. It's so cool. It's just really nice and neat. And I tell people all the time my... my my job is very like analytical and being able to like style my home and do design and things like that for this channel really gives me a creative outlet that I really need and enjoy. So um, I tell people all the time, it's like no matter what you're doing day to day to provide for your family or for even if it's your, your, you know, just yourself, you can always just find a creative outlet that you enjoy that inspires you. 
And um, some people say, like, how do I know what I'm passionate about? What do I enjoy? And if you really don't know, then I just the best advice that I have for you is just to get out and just explore a little bit more. One of the things that, you know, I do is just get out and just start doing different things that I may not have done before or do things that may spark my interest. I feel like your body will tell you if you don't like something, like your mind will automatically say no. Um, But then your body will also tell you yes, if it's something that you enjoy. And so whenever I'm feeling sad or when I was sick, one of the things that I used to do is I would always go to um, like a greenhouse or um, some type of design place or studio. And I would just really go in there and just have my way and just look around and I would just feel so uplifted And um, I think it's just safe to say that uh, anybody who really knows me knows that design and fashion and all those wonderful things just really excite me. So there's always peace and positivity whenever I'm in that environment. And I know it may just look like plants and some of you may be saying, I don't have a green thumb, but, you know, their style and fashion, even in putting together um a bouquet bouquet or styling hanging plants and flowers for your front porch i mean it just it literally just all comes together one thing i think i can add to it is some more height so i'll probably add something else to that as well but so far so good i think it's really coming together i really like it and you know it's whatever you decide to do even if yours doesn't look like mine's it's your creation and you just want to make sure at the end of the day that you really enjoy it and that you like it this is just an example of uh, what i decided to do and uh yeah oh and i recommend that when when you decide to hang it that you water it when it's already hung because it is so hard to lift this up and hang it when there is water in here so wait until the very end i'm telling you from experience to water it when it's already up on the hook okay so after i get all this trash cleaned up i'm trying to clean up as i go so i don't have a lot to do afterwards but after i finish this portion then the next stage is i am going to uh, surround this boxwood that looks kind of rough right now with um, some moss now this boxwood has been outdoors during the many freezes here in huntsville and um, as you can see there are some yellow spots on there i hope that maybe it'll turn back green if you have any tips or tricks on how to revive it so it gets full and lush please let me know i haven't been as consistent with watering it in the past but i know that now that i'm adding the moss to it i'm gonna have to start watering it even more um, the funny thing about the moss though, I was at Lowe's and I was looking at two different colors of moss and I grabbed the darker one because it just had this deeper, rich look. And this random woman just walked up to me and she said that uh, she was like, I feel like I'm supposed to show you a picture um, that I saw of a garden that had like a checkerboard moss look. And I don't know about you, but I've never seen that before. So she was kind enough to show me the picture and I snapped a picture of it with my phone so I can keep it as inspiration. And then I just went, you know, back and, and got the lighter color moss also. And I'm gonna try the checkered board or checkered stack look around the perimeter of this um, pot <laughs> outside of my front door and just see how it looks so i'm just going through and just kind of breaking up the roots a little bit i researched online that before you plant it into soil you got to break up the roots so it can fully integrate with the the soil and the other plants and kind of like bind together you know increase the chance of the plant surviving when you are repotting them now again i am definitely going to have to keep this one very moist because moss loves water but i just i really love the look of this and i'm gonna have to tag the picture that she showed me so you all can see just in case you want to try it for one of your diy projects um, at home or you know just want to look at just to see something beautiful it was very unique i've never seen anything like that before 
At first, when I saw it, I thought it would may, may be a little too busy for my taste. I kind of like um, design that kind of looks like really simple and earthy. And the reason for that is because when I come home, I want to feel calm. You know, there's a lot of noise and chaos out in the world. Um, and when I come home, I want to feel relaxed. And for me, neutral colors really like calm me. And so, yeah, it just really helps me to relax because it just, it's almost like a, a blank slate, essentially. And so it's like going into the woods, you know, whenever I'm feeling stressed or overwhelmed, going for a long walk in the woods or in nature just creates that serene environment. And so the colors that I like to use are almost like the same colors that you would to see in a natural, serene environment. And so on the exterior of my house, I have no problem using like yellows or pinks and things like that, or lavender. I just think those are so beautiful. But on the interior, I de definitely tend to shy away from those colors. So you'll see uh, once you get on the inside of my house too, how things look. We've, uh, on the interior, I'll add a purple color here and there, but um, primarily the main, like the, the sofa or the rug, they're mostly like earth tones because, you know, if I change my opinion, um, I can add a throw pillow, for example, that has a little bit more color. And I noticed that, you know, your sofa a lot of times is a large investment. And so I want to stick pretty neutral or as neutral as possible with uh, color choices like that. So you may see a lot, hear a lot of kids in the background. It's because my children met some new friends across the street. This is adorable family, large family of 10. And um, about five of their kids came over yesterday and the kids had a blast with them. They were just so well behaved and they just had a lot of fun. So there was lots of laughing and playing uh, at my house yesterday and um, actually, was able to still focus on uh, doing some of the things that I love. But look at this. These are the hanging plants. They came out really, really nice. I think I'm going to add one more like addition to the top. But uh, I'm just giving you a, a view of how things look now. And uh, I'm going to clean up a little bit more and get back to it. Now back to the video. As you can see we are done so I am just going to finish cleaning up the front porch and just do some sweeping I tried to lift those baskets up and they are just way too heavy for me right now so when Sean comes back home from the gym I am going to have him lift them up but I think uh, I think even though I went to the store just to get a pair of scissors that um, it was money well spent I actually, I really like the look. I think I may have to just grab a few more of the moss to go in the back side of the plants. But um, the front porch is actually my favorite part of the house, especially in the spring and the summertime, because I really like to come out here when the weather's really nice and just have a cup of tea and just relax and our house. And do your best. Yes, and do my best, Issa. That's the end, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos about wellness, life, and design, then go to Zakia a lot for more. Bye, guys. My turn.